Welcome to another episode of Q and Eric, where the top hats are free and everyone gets laid. Except for me. <laughs> Our first question comes from Big Ball Bubblehead, and they want to know what brand of nose putty I use. I use Wish Plastique from Krylon, or for those who don't speak German or whatever, Soft Nose Putty from Krylon. Exploding Pigeons, sick bastard, wants to know if there's a non-painful way to remove spirit gum. The answer is spirit gum remover. It smells funny, tastes bad, but is great at removing spirit gum. Exploding Pigeon also wanted to know what would be better for recreating a blue man group effect, liquid latex or like grease paint. I would go with grease paint on the face and then you're gonna use a bald cap and maybe a little bit of liquid latex around here. Or you could just shave your head, you know, if you're into that. <laughs> Mr. Chaco Prince wants to know how long it takes us to film Q and Eric and Backyard Effects. For Q and Eric, it usually takes us about half an hour, 45 minutes, just a couple dudes goofing around in the studio, drinking energy drinks, and being crazy. And Backyard Effects takes much, much longer. It hurts my soul and my spleen and my <laughs> Behold! Pumpkin carving contest! We're looking for photos and 30 second video clips of your best indie mogul carvings. Upload them at our website. The deadline is November 1st. The winner gets a mini DV camera, a complete sound kit, editing software, and DV tapes. English Cypriot and NIO wanted to know where they could buy liquid latex online. How about right here? <laughs> Sorry everyone, I was gonna do the whole Bing thing, but I sprained my finger last week doing it, so no more Bings for a while. Gotta take it easy. Bing, ah. See, it hurts. Moonwolf from the forums wanted to know what my recipe is for fake blood. It's corn syrup, red food coloring, and a little bit of chocolate syrup to make it extra chunky and dark. Now, depending on your needs, you might need it to be less thick. In that case, you can always water it down with water or urine, but probably water, it's safer, not gross. Anime King 527 wanted to know how many Sunday newspapers it takes to fill up the stunt dummy. Now, I used about three to three and a half big fat papers. Davbull23 wanted to know if I actually spin the wheel of prosperity or it's some kind of magic animated effect or it's all computers or magic or voodoo, but I can assure you that there is a real wheel of prosperity and I actually spin it every week. If it looks funny, it's because sometimes we have to speed it up so you're not just sitting there watching it spin for a long time. We do use voodoo, but not for the wheel for other things. Dark Fairy 07 wants to know how old I am. She said she's got some money riding on it with their friend. And my question to you is, how much money are we talking about? Because if it's more than 50 bucks, email me, tell me how old you think I am, and that's how old I'll be. And we will split that shit. But seriously, I'm, I'm 26. Now because Justin's a loser and he's on vacation, oh, I'm Justin, I'm in the Caribbean. Here's Steve with an update from the forums. Hi everybody, I'm forumologist Dr. Steve Nelson. Now today we've got a few things to go over. Uh, if you look over in this section, uh, we have the BFX Film Challenge from Inbender. And uh, what it is, is basically you take three effects that have been, you know, shown in Backyard Effects and make a five minute movie using these effects. Now you can go onto the forums and find out more about that. Now we're going to move on to a little uh, battle going on between Family Guy and South Park. And uh, it seems that at this current moment, South Park is up 26 to Family Guy's 18. But this will probably change by the time this video is edited, so you'll see a different number. And uh, from our ankles has said, I redecided Futurama. I don't really know what that means, but I'm sure it has some bearing on this battle going on. And finally, from 
Gurry Fern. Gurry Fern? Gurry Fern? Gurry Fern. We have create your own latex prosthetics and appliances. Now, I'm not sure what she means by appliances, because I don't think you can make refrigerators out of latex. But it's a really cool uh, thread. Check it out. There's a really awesome video to go along with it. And uh, that's it for your weather update. And that'll end this episode of Q and Eric. I'm Steve Nelson, Dr. Steve Nelson, forumologist. And for Eric, have a good day.